With business intelligence and data analytics gaining so much popularity these days, the term business intelligence and data analytics are often defined incorrectly, oversimplified, or used interchangeably for speedy communication. That can lead to confusion because BI and DA are quite different. In this video, we're going to sort that out. First, let's establish that both BI and DA professionals enable data-driven decision-making in their organizations. They're also both a key part of their company's data maturity. Data maturity is the extent to which an organization is able to effectively use its data in order to extract actionable insights. Whether that data includes information about your customers, staff, products, suppliers, finances, or something else, it's worthless if it can't be put to work. Putting data to work requires skilled professionals who can apply techniques and technologies to achieve high levels of maturity. In this effort, data analysts are primarily involved with using data to answer questions about what happened. On the other hand, BI professionals aim to achieve higher levels of data maturity by building data reporting tools, such as dashboards. Dashboards continuously analyze and monitor data, so the work isn't complete just because the tool has been created. The analysis and monitoring are ongoing. This is because BI involves establishing repeatable methods to understand how things are operating. And by knowing the current state, company leaders can take action to improve the future state. For example, a BI professional might investigate what new sales prospects are being targeted today. How many customers have we gained this month? Or did our weekly email perform well with new subscribers? Because BI is all about near real-time rapid monitoring, BI insights are most effective when they make an impact right now. Therefore, the people who use the reporting tools want to make sure they are practical and efficient. BI professionals are expert tool builders. Then, it's typically the data analysts who apply these tools in order to answer a question or solve a problem by examining the data through a specific topic or lens. Again, a big part of BI is creating dashboards that provide users with clear snapshots of the current state. These tools must be impactful and easy to interpret, even for non-technical people. So if you like thinking about what you can create that meets the needs of many different users, BI will let you do just that. BI professionals generally work on large scale projects that are helpful for multiple stakeholders. Also, as you consider how you will fit in the BI world, note that BI professionals are experts in data infrastructure and enjoy the technical side of data analytics. For instance, if you love working with databases, big data, and the computer programming language SQL, BI will give you the opportunity to take your queries to the next level. If you earn the Google Data Analytics Certificate, the content included there formed your foundational knowledge and experience. Now, this BI program will provide a complementary skill set that builds on those foundations. It will also add a lot of very marketable talents to your resume that will create a compelling combination of skills for employers to consider and will open the doors for more job opportunities. In addition to the technical side of things, such as managing large data sets, writing queries in SQL, and creating dashboards, you'll learn some really worthwhile professional skills. These include the ability to juggle many different priorities, attention to detail, owning a process, communicating with others, and learning how to go beyond surface level requests. Perhaps most importantly, you'll discover the value of connecting with others to really drive results. And that's how you build a career rather than just have a job. These are also great things to keep in mind as you continue planning for your portfolio project. Consider how you can use this upcoming project as an opportunity to demonstrate both your technical skills and your ability to thrive in a complex workplace with a diverse group of colleagues. In future lessons, you will continue to explore the similarities and differences between BI and DA. The two disciplines complement and rely on each other, just like the talented people who work in these roles. Together, they help their organizations advance on the data maturity scale every day. If you earned your Google Data Analytics certificate, then you're very familiar with the data lifecycle and the data analysis process. Data analysts use these phases in their work every single day in order to gain insights that lead to informed decision-making. 
As a quick refresher, the data lifecycle is the sequence of stages that data experiences, which include plan, capture, manage, analyze, archive, and destroy. And the data analysis process occurs in six phases, ask, prepare, process, analyze, share, and act. Business intelligence also has phases, a sequence of three stages that determines the value of BI, as well as organizational data maturity. As you've learned, data maturity is a meaningful goal for any BI team because high maturity means their organization is effectively using its data in order to extract actionable insights. In BI, the three stages are capture, analyze, and monitor. As you advance through each one, the process requires a deeper level of exploration and investigation, so each becomes more complex. These phases might be automated or done manually, but each one adds significant business impact, which is well worth the effort. It's important to understand these stages and how they can benefit you as a BI professional. So we're gonna explore each one of them in this video. Let's start with capture, which is the what happened point in the BI process. This stage pertains to static, backward-looking data. For instance, if you were to query a database to return a data set about what your customers purchased last month, that's an example of capturing information. Or you might access a spreadsheet that lists profits and losses from the previous quarter. That's also an example of capturing a record of certain information. Records are essential to BI, but they don't enable users to easily investigate in depth and really dig into the data. And that hinders the insights they're able to provide. Also, because the data in this stage is rigid and backward looking, it's not always very useful for proactive forward looking decisions. Capturing information is a necessary element of BI, but information alone doesn't let us know what's working well, how we can improve or what to do next. However, in the following step, things get better. Which brings me to stage two, analyze. The why did it happen part of BI. You already know a lot about this stage, but as a quick reminder, data analysis is when we draw conclusions, make predictions, and drive informed decision-making. Because the analyze stage explores why things happen, it's much more likely to result in effective plans and strategies. In this way, it enables BI professionals to better understand key relationships between data points. They do this by examining data more deeply, more broadly, or even side by side in order to identify connections that at first might not have been apparent. Okay, now we've come to the final part of the process, monitor. Monitor is the what's happening now stage. And here's where BI professionals really get to show off their unique skills and expertise. In this stage, you'll use automated processes and information channels, such as data models, ETL pipelines, dashboards, and more. These exciting tools take the data that organizations create every single day and transform it into true intelligence that is easily available to stakeholders. These BI tools reveal upswings, downturns, changes, challenges, opportunities, and much more. Decision makers then use the insights these tools deliver in order to proactively work towards business goals.